All right, so let's talk about Judah and Tamar. Uh, I did a devotional that I posted on Facebook, and you might have seen that. Um, that was a little bit long. So I want to make this devotional just uh, an abbreviated version of that devotional. If you want to see that, you can go on uh, Church of Hope's Facebook page and see the longer version of this. But let's talk Judah and Tamar. What is Judah and Tamar about? Why is this story in the Bible? Well, uh, really, we see that that it's this this story about uh, really Judah's wickedness, his son's wickedness. Tamar has two of Judah's uh, sons. Well, the first one she's married to. The second one is supposed to uh, really help her carry on an heir. He doesn't. He messes up. They're both bad. God puts them to death. And it's Judah's responsibility to provide, uh, you know, his his son uh, Sheila to uh, Tamar. But he doesn't do that. He doesn't want to do that. So he doesn't do it. And so Tamar really takes, uh, takes her, uh, her livelihood into her own hands because if she was a widow, she didn't really have anybody to care for her unless she had a son to care for her. So she was trying to get, she really was looking after herself, trying to get uh, a son to care for her. So what does she do? Well, she takes uh, her, all of her plans into her own hands. That's what we do sometimes when we, uh, we don't know what to do. And sometimes... Uh, yeah, most, pretty much most of the time, that's a really bad thing. You shouldn't do that. However, she does that here, and um, she doesn't She doesn't know any better. She doesn't know any better because um, she doesn't know the Lord. And uh, when we know the Lord, we know that we uh, don't need to take our plans into our own hands. But she doesn't know the Lord. She's a Canaanite woman. She's she's not an Israelite. And so she takes, uh, she takes this into her own hands. And then what happens? Well, we see, <laughs> we see that uh, she disguises herself, and she sets up this elaborate plan, and uh, really brings brings Judah, um, yeah, really just just brings Judah into her mess, and uh, well, he was already a mess, and gets a son by Judah, uh, and so and then she takes what's something of Judah, so she can prove that Judah is the husband. So if Judah tries to retaliate um, and do harm to her for living wildly, she can say, hey, you were part of this too, uh, which was a smart plan. And ultimately, why is the story here? Well, we find out because we find out that she has twins. Um, and one of the twins, the firstborn's name is Perez. Well, guess what? If you read Matthew chapter one, you will see in the genealogy of Jesus that uh, Jesus is a, is a descendant of Judah and Perez via, via Tamar. Uh, and so that's why this whole story is in there. That's, that's why this interrupts the Joseph narrative, because this is about Jesus. Genesis is setting up the stage for the Messiah and how the Messiah is going to come about. And I love that God uses sinful humans, messed up humans, to ultimately bring about the Messiah who's going to save the world. Thank you guys uh, for spending this time with me. Hope you enjoyed it. Read and ask the Lord to just apply these truths to your life. Love you guys.